Right, Roland. Okay, so we found the Queen, or we have found her a second ago. Uh, yeah. yeah, there she is. Uh, on this, and this is uh, one of our other colonies, and it's got queen cells in it. Uh, it's got two queen cells we've found so far, so this... I'm going to check it for queen cells quickly. There's a cup there, it's empty. Check the queen's still on here. Yep, she is. She's there, and I'm going to quickly take her across and put her into a box I've prepared, which is going to be the new brew box. Slide that frame into there. It's got a board below it so she's not going anywhere, and I'm going to put that board temporarily over the top. And here's an empty frame to go back into the hive that we were just going through, and I'm going to put that actually, I'm just going to put that there. Okay, let's hold that. Rolling. So, in hive four, the one we've been following for the last few weeks, we found queen cells again. A couple of open queen cells, we found about 10 queen cells in total. A couple of them already sealed, so we've been lucky that we've been the queen. And we're lucky that we've come here at six days and we didn't wait till seven days or later. So we need to artificially swarm. We're a bit limited in horizontal space here, so we're going to do this space, we're going to do this um, artificial swarm vertically. We found the queen, we've moved her out, and we've put her into this box over here. That will be our new bottom box, which will go on this floor in a second. I need to move this box out of the way, and we'll reassemble those on top and on top of this snail grove board. And I'll explain that in a moment. Three, two, one. Hi there. So, we've separated the queen, and we've got her in a new box. And this box here. Check she's not on the roof. The new box. It's going to go in the original position on top of the old floor. So she's in there on a frame of brood that we have double double checked that there are no queen cells on. She's got a couple of frames of drawn comb around her and the rest is foundation. That's what we've got at this point in time. On top of this it's going to go Queen Excluder. And on top of this is going to go the Super that was on top of this original stack. And that will give the food supply that hopefully they need to feed this lower box. And if we just stop. Going? Yep. Okay, so a Snellgrove board is basically like a crown board, but it's got lots of these little doors all the way around. Now there is a mind-blowingly complicated way of using those doors in sequence but essentially the way you most commonly use it, or I most commonly use it, is to do a swarm vertically but you just open a door at the back, one of the upper doors so the bees can get into the upper boxes. Now the flying bees are going to go back to the bottom box the nurse bees and the young bees and the larvae, once they hatch out, are going to know this back entrance is home. And actually, I'm going to change that. I'm going to open the side one because the side I won't need to work around as much. So I'm going to put it, the side entrance open so I can um, work more easily around the hive. So the first box. Now this box has got two queen cells in it, which I've put on pin mark frames and I need to choose which one I'm going to keep. And I've got a favourite already marked out. I'm just going to take a frame out so I've got some working space. So, I've got this one. And the bottom corner here, which is nice, it's charged, it's also in a really protected position. It can't get damaged in that little corner. It'd be really hard to damage that, which is important because as you lift them in and out, or just I've got one other. I need a little bit of smoke in here in a minute, but I'll do that. I've got one other, which is here. Now which one to choose? 
They're both very similar. I'm going to choose the, the previous one and I'm just going to knock that down. And now that's knocked down, they can't do anything with it. They can't work on that. There is now one queen cell left on a pin mark frame in the lower of these two boxes. I'm going to reassemble the hive. There might even be a dummy board around here somewhere. I'll worry about that later. It's on the back in. Oh yeah, there it is, right in front of me. We've got a lot of stuff, that's all. The second brew box up on top. Now the only problem with doing a snail grove is that you can end up with a tower which is quite hard to work with when you want to inspect the bottom box. So it's not a perfect solution but the only kit I've needed to do this whole change is I've needed an extra brew box. Everything else is what I originally had. So it's a really efficient way in terms of equipment if you're running a bit short of doing a split. That's pretty much it. So the new entrance for the upper colonies to the side, the original entrance for the flying bees is to the bottom. And I hope this one will go, think it's swarmed, carry on as normal. This one will need checking for extra queen cells. Um, and we may need to thin it down again when we come back in seven days, but hopefully we've prevented this one swarming in the next day or so. That's it. But it wasn't enough. 